you have the chance to win a Spring Super Sweeps from Alleist. Donate $60 for one entry to win a brand new Lexus or $25,000 in cash. Check out all the other prizes too when you donate now at alleist.com slash sweeps. I'm Austin Cross. Join me for Alleist's new live event series with the James Beard Foundation. We are where we eat. We'll go behind the scenes of LA restaurants. The kickoff event is May 22nd. Tickets at alleist.com slash events. Today on the LA Report. SoCal Edison and other electricity customers could have to pay a fixed monthly fee if state regulators approve a billing change today. A study of surrounding contamination from the Tustin hangar fire is in. An unusual local venue is about to reopen its summer movie series, Among the Dead. Just enjoying the greatest art that Hollywood made under the stars. It's really a beautiful experience. Good morning. It's Thursday, May 9th. I'm Suzanne Watley, and you're listening to the L.A. Report from LAist 89.3. Happening today, energy regulators will vote on a plan to redesign how many Californians are billed for electricity. Adia White with North State Public Radio reports. The California Public Utilities Commission is voting on a proposal that would restructure billing for investor-owned utilities. The aim is to help people who live in areas where the winters are cold and summers very hot. If passed, the new proposal would slightly reduce the price of electricity, but it adds a fixed charge of around $24 for utility companies to spend on infrastructure upgrades. Investor-owned utilities include Southern California Edison. If the rate restructure is approved, it won't take effect for at least a year and a half. By the way, low-income Californians would pay less. L.A.'s city-owned utility is increasing its rates this summer. L.A.'s Caitlin Hernandez explains. The power rate is expected to go up about one cent per kilowatt hour. So on a common 300 kilowatt hour bill, that would be about a $3 a month increase. For water rates, right now a customer who uses 10 billing units per month of water pays around $95. That bill will go up by about 12 bucks. The LADWP says the increases are to help maintain infrastructure. For LAS 89.3, I'm Caitlin Hernandez. You can learn more about the increases and how to prepare for them at LAist.com. USC will host a Trojan Family Graduate Celebration tonight at the L.A. Memorial Coliseum. The ticketed event is a replacement for the canceled main stage commencement on campus. LAist Yusuf Farzan has more. The event will feature drone shows, fireworks, and several performances, including the Trojan Marching Band. USC canceled its main stage graduation following the arrest of 93 people who were calling for the university to cut ties to companies supporting Israel's war in Gaza. They also face criticism for canceling the valedictory address by Asna Tabassam for safety concerns. Satellite ceremonies for the individual schools will take place on Friday. For LA 89.3, I'm Yusra Farzan. Federal prosecutors say Shohei Otani's former interpreter is expected to plead guilty to stealing over $16 million from the Dodgers star. Ipe Misuhara is expected to enter that plea next Tuesday when he's scheduled to face a judge in downtown L.A. court. The former interpreter allegedly secretly wired money from the player's bank account to place bets with illegal bookmakers in Orange County. The city of Tustin has released test results on homes surrounding the massive hangar that burned to the ground in November. LAist Orange County correspondent Jill Replogle says the homes tested negative for elevated levels of asbestos and lead, with one small exception. The city contracted with a company to test indoor dust and outdoor soil at 80 randomly selected homes within the fire's impact area. Just one indoor dust sample at a Tustin home came back showing slightly elevated levels of lead. Despite the results, some residents are still concerned about the health impacts of the fire. The Navy is still finalizing a cleanup plan for the charred remains of the hangar, which dated back to World War II and is known to have asbestos. Coming up, a serial killer stalks a local cemetery on film this month. Support for LAS comes from Latino Theater Company at the Los Angeles Theater Center, presenting the world premiere of Mix Mix, the Filipino adventures of a German Jewish boy by Boney B. Alvarez, inspired by true events from the life of Ralph Price. 
After escaping Nazi Germany, a newfound tropical refuge in the Philippines is upended when Japan invades the islands. On stage through June 16th. Tickets and information at latinotheaterco.org. Support for LAist comes from the Norton Simon Museum, presenting the film series Testigo Witness, Goya in the Movies, held on select Fridays in May. Each film touches upon Spanish artist Francisco de Goya's visions of the world, including Pan's Labyrinth by Guillermo del Toro and The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie by Luis Buñuel. Screenings are at 4.30 p.m. on four consecutive Fridays starting May 10th. More information at nortonsimon.org. Back now to the L.A. Report. The Michelin Guide has recognized five more restaurants from L.A. and Orange Counties. L.A.'s food editor Gob Chabron says they cover a broad range of cuisine and cities. The newest restaurants recognized by Michelin range from Cedro Italian Restaurant, located in a strip mall in Newberry Park, to Manohar's Deli Palace in La Puente, specializing in Punjabi dishes. These aren't cities typically known for culinary excellence and shows how Michelin has really done its homework by looking for outstanding restaurants wherever they are. The next step, for some, might be nabbing the prestigious Bib Gourmand or Star Awards this summer. For LAist 89.3, I'm Gab Chabadan. And you can find out more about these restaurants at LAist.com. They also include the Elf Cafe in Echo Park serving Mediterranean food, Mexican restaurant Lola Gaspar in Santa Ana, and Lustig Restaurant in Culver City offering Austrian food. Summer is just around the corner, and that means outdoor movies. One of the most iconic spots to see them in L.A. is the Hollywood Forever Cemetery just enjoying the greatest art that Hollywood made under the stars. It's really a beautiful experience. That's John Wyatt, founder of Cinespia. It's the group that's been running the screenings at the cemetery on Santa Monica Boulevard since 2002. Movies start up again May 26th with the David Fincher thriller Seven. Hollywood Forever has a long and for a time sordid history. As for how it became a destination for summer fun, well, the LAist Studios podcast, How to LA, gets into that as part of its Revival House series. You can find it wherever you get your podcasts. And you can expect afternoon sun today. High temperatures in the low to mid-70s from the beaches into downtown Los Angeles and inland Orange County. In the coastal valleys, upper 70s to around 80. The Inland Empire will get into the low 80s. In the Coachella Valley, it'll be sunny and windy with highs in the low 90s. For listening to the LA Report. You can read more news at LAist.com or listen live anytime on the LAist app or on the radio at 89.3 FM. The AM edition is hosted and produced by me, Suzanne Watley, with assistance from producer Tyler Wayne. Our engineer is Federico Garcia Rodriguez. Catherine Mailhouse is the Director of Content Development. LAist's executive editor is Megan Garvey. Original music by Scott Kelly. Check back here at 4 for the PM edition. Listeners like you help make the LA Report possible. Please donate at laist.com slash join. And the LA Report is supported by Gordon and Donna Crawford, who believe quality journalism makes Southern California a better place to live. The LAS Spring Super Sweeps is happening now. You can win amazing prizes while supporting your source for local fact-based journalism. One lucky grand prize winner will get to choose a brand new Lexus or $25,000 in cash. Other prizes include an electric bike from Juice Bikes and $1,000 gas gift cards. Your donation of $60 gets you one entry to win. And the more you give, the more entries you get. Donate now at LAS.com sweeps.